But what is a data warehouse? It's a relational data store designed for analytic workloads, which is generally column-oriented data store. And again, I'm gonna make an emphasis here. Sometimes it's non-relational, sometimes it's relational. Don't get too worried about that part, okay? Companies will have terabytes and millions of rows of data, and they need a fast way to be able to produce analytic reports. That's how you know you need an, uh, a data warehouse, okay? Data warehouses are generally, uh, uh, generally perform aggregations. So aggregations is grouping of data uh, to find a total or average. Data warehouses are optimized around columns since they need to quickly aggregate column data. And so here is an example where we have our warehouse and um, the idea is that we're taking data in from uh, like an unstructured source through an ETL. Uh, and then here we have an SQL. These are two different data sources. We use SQL to then get our uh, results, okay? So data warehouses are generally designed to be hot. Hot meaning that uh, the data will uh, be returned very, very fast, even though they have vast amounts of data. Data, data warehouses are infrequently accessed, meaning they aren't intended for real-time reporting, but maybe once or twice a day or once a week to generate businesses and user reports. Now, can it report extremely fast? Of course, but it's not like at a at a per millisecond, you know, running it all day and keeping it all up to date. That's more for a stream, right? A data warehouse needs to be uh, needs to consume data from a relational database on a regular basis, or you know, it, through an ETL, data gets transformed and put in there. Okay. Generally, generally, data warehouses are read only. So you insert data and then you read it. You're not using it for transactional data. Okay.